are in Shine's office from Dallas Vintage Toys. And Shine has some cool stuff back here. So maybe, maybe he'll show us. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, Sean, what do we have going on in your office, dude? Uh, we always switch out the cases. I do collect sneakers and I actually bought a pair that you uh, posted the link to in your deal. The, oh, oh the yeah, the new ones. I was like, that's the first custom dude, pair I got. Yeah. But I was like, well, these buy now, might as well. So, yeah, these are all dead stock. I've been doing sneakers for a while. I, my wife always says, like, well, you'll never have to buy a pair of shoes for the rest of your life. So, uh, I've got about 200 pairs of sneakers. I just kind of do that and. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, the case right now, we got more in the other office. So, so out of this case, like, what are some, a few, well, few of them that, like, point out? Um, I like the mummies down there. They glow mm -hmm. in the dark. I'll hit the lights and you can kind of see them. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, hit that again? Yeah. Let's get the full, full glow. Yeah. Whoa. That's sick. I like that a sick. lot of the, like, Halloween ones. Um, I... Those just dropped. I have the, oh God, now I'm put on the spot. I forgot what the original ones. I got the opposite colors. Okay. And uh, like, I really don't pay too much attention, but everyone always like calls me, oh, like I'm wearing two different pairs. Yeah. People are like, is that how they come? And then they just re-released this one. So I'm trying to get the other orange pair because, and I do own two pairs of the, uh, the Fruity Pebbles. Oh yeah. LeBron James. Yeah. Um, so some of them I will buy doubles just so I can, you know, get some of the ones I wish I would have bought another or bought was the um, Dr. Strangelove but at the time I wasn't really trying to spend too much money I'm like oh, yeah. 600 bucks and I, now those cost more than the Ben and Jerry's so, <laughs> so it's just crazy. like oh I don't know and I think those are the Bart Simpsons up there the yeah. another trick or treat one oh uh, let's look at those like, yeah. these are the Bart Simpsons mm -hmm. those are cool and then these trick or treat ones I really like a lot I like anything Halloween themed um, but with the, the two shoe deal, mm -hmm. is that because you just can't decide and you got to rep two different ones? A lot of people think this is uh, the Denver Broncos. I just yeah, just go to the, just like it, wear it. So yeah. yeah, I did retire the other pair, and then these are the new ones. So the other ones are probably going to be yard shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But. What do we have going on on the top? Ooh. So this is um, we bought some stuff from a Mattel employee okay. and um, he worked there for 34 and a half years. He wow. knew Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dale Earnhardt, he, the owner of the Walmart, the Waltons. He flew around, super nice guy. Um, his office was awesome at home. He had like probably like all awards and one of them said one billionth toy sold. Wow. I mean, it was just a treat just to meet him and we were able to buy a bunch of stuff from him. Mm -hmm. So we already sold the other two power gloves and uh, I do keep more stuff that's like sentimental and I mean, I want to get toys for, I mean, you can only like, collect so much stuff because people like y'all want to buy toys too. And I'm, so I always joke around, yeah. I'll go in the store, all right, next five minutes is it's now going to be a museum. And they're like, ah. <laughs> yep. but, um, I mean, I grew up with G.I. Joe, so um, some of these are Takara, then we have one from a uh, fun school from India, right. and uh, I mean, I go through these phases where, um, like I used to collect pre-production prototypes, and I had over 70 of them, and that cost more than what I paid for my house, and then I had a bunch of foreign stuff in here a couple weeks ago, and then, you know, it's, I just kind of... You know, like every collector, it's where yep. you just deep dive and you just try to collect mm -hmm. everything. And then, but now I take a bunch of videos and pictures because when I first started in '92, they didn't really have digital cameras and everything. And I had about like over 300 sealed like bloody figures and wow. glass light and Hungarian tin pack sets and just foreign stuff because nobody liked that stuff back then and it had like a different flavor like this than the u.s versions and people back then they wanted like 12 bags and power mm -hmm. the porch figures and oh, we yeah. just trade out so it's crazy different times for sure <laughs> and yes, sir and now with collecting you're able to kind of record the experience as well so if you do kind of move on from a certain line it's like you still had that memory and you were able to get that yep. fix. It's kind of like with me, I'll go down a rabbit hole with an entire line, want everything from it. Like we're probably gonna buy all of your Family Guy stuff because- Those don't come in too often. Yeah, it's they, one of those they, things. They're cool, yeah. yeah. And off of like instant they, they gratification. Videos, like yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 
<laughs> like, are we gonna get any more naked Peters? I don't know. You know, is Playmates gonna make don't naked Peters? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it, dude. That's fine. <laughs> so, tell me about the Looney Tunes because I've every sure. time I come so, into your office, I have an appreciation uh, for them. I think some more down there, then we got Pinky in the Brain around the corner. So that lady and her mom worked at the Warner Brothers store back in the 90s. And I remember going to the Warner Brothers store, I was trying to impress this one girl, and this, I bought a Batman ring instead of a Batman animated cell, which I probably would have done a lot better mm -hmm. doing. But um, yeah, so they worked there, and uh, they cut me a heck of a deal. And uh, Were these yeah. things that were for sale there? Or so they were they did, kind of just props? I did some research. So there's not too many of them out there because I mean a lot of people don't want to ship them too because there's I think one of them's broken here, but um, they did make some larger ones. They're like oversized, mm -hmm. and then I think for Space Jam they also made like a giant oh, shoe. Yeah, oh, that's cool. that'd be cool. That'd yeah. be sweet. <laughs> now I was filling this down here, so mm -hmm. this is it looks like blow blow mold, but it's not. It's like a harder like plastic for sure. It definitely shatters. Definitely shatters. Yeah. So maybe not plastic. I think one time Scott was like bending over and we we're like, Scott, you're blanking. Yeah. Bumped it in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just like the whole front of the face just broke. <laughs> Scott's like, I can fix it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. What is this piece? Do you know what this piece is? That's right a knockoff. Uh, like it just towards... so sometimes my point in like I had this so I I grew up with uh, GI Joe He Man mask and Lego and I had one go by and I remember I took one of these to um, show and tell in kindergarten but this is just so clean mm -hmm. not yellowed and so I mean from time to time and Scrooge McDuck I got the painting over there oh that's, that's really cool stuff, so. let's look at that painting real quick. Ah, that's uh, one of our customers did that during COVID. He's a tattoo artist, been shopping with us the entire run at DBT. And with COVID, like a lot of people could not work. And you can always follow me for the best times. Like I started out in 2007, what happened in 2008? Boom, financial crisis. So whenever I make these big moves, uh, just go down your bunker and uh, <laughs> just come out yeah. later. But um, <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of people come in from that were in the movie industry and other industries, and then they kind of helped. Uh, we had people that worked on um, Lucas Film to the Castle Gray School out mm -hmm. there. So it's just really cool. I've been doing this for like 17 years with the shop, and just everyone came together and we were able to help everyone out. So that's really cool. Now I, I see you just have a great earthbound chilling. Right yeah, so we have more in the shop, but that's, the, that's an actual sealed one and the highest graded one. So that's the highest graded one in the world right now? That, I don't know. There's one currently at Heritage, so I guess we'll see what happens with that one. But I mean, I mainly deal in just action figures, and yeah. this is what happens when you get me out of my wheelhouse. I spend ungodly <laughs> amount of money on stuff I don't know, and then yeah. you gotta find that right special someone. But it is a rare game. It's like the price top. Can, can I hold it? Yeah. yeah. I'll just give you a pat on your back. Yeah. <laughs> My man's looking for a thumbnail. Um, I really like these paintings too. What's the deal with these? So those are uh, Vargas. He was born in the late 1890s. And I remember always going, this is actually a cover of a rock uh, CD cover. I've had several customers tell me about that. This one kind of reminded me of Slave Leia. This one was actually in Playboy 1969. I was like, well, maybe I'll start collecting pinups or buy a few and then art and then we got some Peter Mac stuff over there we also did some of the Beatles uh, Cinderella wow so I mean it's something I might look for later on I'm just kind of out of wall space and then um I forgot that way his name but those three are the same artists they are amazing though yeah, that. yeah this is really cool and then the Simpsons one down there is called Nuclear Family that's, I was looking at that effort. Yeah, it was. And then that um, dragon over there, that's original Dungeon and Dragons, and we have another more artwork out in the hallway, too. Oh, and we got a hoverboard over here, signed by who? Uh, Claudia Wells, and we have the uh, Einstein, the vintage one. She signed that, too. Oh, that's cool. He's just going through signing everything, and then she like, went to our break room and like, stole like, a bag of food and candy. <laughs> <laughs> we just got robbed by Claudia Wells. Cool. <laughs> 
I love it, dude. This and, and this is kind of stuff that I collect, like oddball stuff. So this was like um, the ex Kenner employee that was in charge of uh, marketing and everything. So this came from his collection. I actually have the plush Chewbacca and um, R2 at home. They came from the, I think, producer or director of Return of the Jedi. So just wow. kind of like oddball stuff like that. Jeez, man. Look at this couch. This couch is half the value of my house. Lily Yeah, look at that. Nice. That was some of the other stuff that used to be in the um, cases over there. Yeah. And we have this little Zartan right here with the schizophrenic uh, file card in the back that was recalled and Hasbro had to donate a lot of money to the, I think, Canadian uh, hospitals oh, wow. up there because you can't use schizophrenic and i didn't even know that was a thing in the 80s yeah that's interesting very very cool i am gonna show everyone all of these shoes real quick to make sure yeah. all of our sneaker heads get a get good look fix. yeah they get a fix and we like calling out a size 14 i'm after yeah okay he's a 14. Uh, <laughs> I uh, just dunk lows really. When I first started out, I was buying a little bit of everything. My son, Sammy, went to my shoe closet at home and then he's like, Dad, these are the ones that work with the app that sell plays, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I, I was like, I don't know if the app still works. And he was, he was charging them, but I'm like, it's raining. I'm not gonna wear them. I might get like a kid. Oh, the other ones are called the, the Brazils. Oh, okay. so let me redeem myself. These are the Brazils? The other ones are the opposite. Oh, pattern. copy. Oh, and then we just got some graded Star Wars These under there, too. Prototypes. These are all prototypes? Mm -hmm. That's how when you know your collection's wild that you don't start with showing us the Star Wars prototype. <laughs> they're, they're from what, droids? Yes, sir. That's crazy. It's Protos, just chilling. Yeah. yeah. On the bottom shelf. No That's deal. how you know your collection yeah. is pretty insane. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> when, you, when you got the prototype Star Wars on the bottom shelf. Yeah, so, if anybody knows what this is, this is like the, I don't know what the CD is. So this is the adapter for the power glove. Okay. And then I think it hooks up to like your PC or something. So if anyone knows what that is, That's just cool. leave a it's comment below. Yeah. <laughs> Right. My friend, he's into video games. He's got like over 6,600 games. His friend has like right eight to ten thousand, and they've never seen that either. So. Wow. It came with a CD. I just have to find out where that is. That's really cool. I will find out for you. Okay. Right. I'll awesome. get a. I'll zoom in on it. That way you can do a call back. There it is. And. I got and did you use uh, the machine from Honey, I Blew Up the Kid to get no, this? so like a lot of people follow us and a guy in England, he actually was trying to sell me one of those. He made seven of them and I made the mistake and showed my son. He's like, Dad, you have to get that. And then he picked out some stuff and traded. He sent the first one over and the foot cracked in the No. Head. So then he sent another one and uh, yeah, it's just chilling there. So. And so, so sometimes like shipping is such a big deal that like with your big ticket items, I've actually heard you have stories of like traveling to bring them to people because they're such big ticket I did items. I in Star Wars Celebration 2019 and uh, I felt like Clint Eastwood in the mule because I wear, uh, <laughs> wear a purse. Yeah, or yeah. satchel school now. Yeah, more like I India. Mean, I just had a bunch of pre-production stuff and people were from England, Europe, Australia, Singapore. Like we just had a guy from Singapore come over that I sold him some stuff like a couple years ago. I think he's in celebration right now over in England. But, um, yeah, we've had people fly in from uh, Australia, just pick up the item and go back. Because some of the items are like one of one or one of three. So, yeah. I mean, uh, there's not enough insurance with the post office. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for showing us your office. This is a really, really cool spot that not everyone gets the opportunity to check out. So we appreciate you. Oh, you got something? So that's um, a D&D &D original right there. And this was on the cover of Fortune Magazine 78. It's got the dollar bills, the coins, the Star Destroyer right that's there. Cool. That's cool. And that's the original artwork? Yep. Man. That's awesome. And that's a Wolfenstein. 
Every angle of Dallas Vintage Toys is covered with cool stuff. I love it. What do we have over here real quick though? Because I see my I see my boy Lou. Is that over here? Yeah, so when he was here, um, it is kind of fun. So his uh, agent was, uh, so basically that's the sandwich we bought him. He wrote it down. He wanted the banana, the turkey, you know, all mustard, no calories. And then the agent was like, I want a Coke. I was like, no, Lou, you have to ride it. So, <laughs> and I found that crumbled up in his uh, trash can and that was ripped in half. So. I love it. And, and everyone gets a hoot. I was like, yeah, if y'all shine here and throw stuff around, I'm going to dumpster dive and <laughs> I'm going to frame it up. And it's more sentimental. I mean, that's like really no value, but I think the framing costs a fortune. No, this is this is amazing. One of the things that I really appreciate this is that you have this uh, from that part of his life when he was making the documentary Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger, because he is a serious bodybuilder, and that's how he ended up becoming the Hulk. You ripped that, yeah. What's that? This. I'm literally went through the trash. Did you get these artifacts? I love that. Great stuff back there. We just have great stuff. To me, this just looks like a design element. I love it. So, so, so we got snacks and graded stuff over here. Yeah. So when your kitchen is loaded with the value of someone's house as well. Look <laughs> at <laughs> that, 30-30. Woo, spicy. You rarely see those. I think we're the, one of the only ones to grade British Art, and that came from the Mattel collection as well. Oh, did it? That's mm -hmm. cool. You still got stacks of 30 Yeah. <laughs> Just stacks. Still out there. I have this loose. So if this is a message to anyone coming into Dallas Vintage Toys, if you go up to Sean and say, I have a really rare item, he might look at you funny. Because his definition of rare is very different than the average bear's. <laughs> and you get a low calorie snack next to yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is more rare to find a low calorie snack in Dallas Vintage Toys than it is to... Whoa, dude. Look at that. That is awesome. Very nice. That's a, that's a big graded piece, too. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And you got the commu uh, computer warriors. It looks like a 80s uh, Mac That's computer. so cool. Oh, that is really cool. I've never even seen this. Evil viruses are attacking the world's computers, and the computer warriors have been generated to stop them. A soccer trophy changes into an evil techno tank, forcing the computer warriors down. Hiding in a Pepsi can, the computer warriors fight back and deliver a direct hit. But the viruses keep coming, so the computer warriors convert a clock into a digital laser blaster and wipe out the virus air attack. Yeah! Computer warriors, expect the unexpected. Each sold separately. Computer and pencil sharpener available fall 1990, only from Mattel. How often do, like, these computer warriors come in? No, uh, we got some hanging out there right mm -hmm. now. Um, but the computer, I've only had sealed ones. Wow. Uh, so this is our second batch. I had one before, the mm -hmm. second location, previous one to here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just we get to enjoy stuff that we grew up with mm -hmm. or stuff that we've never even seen before. We just bought some collections. And if y'all came here yesterday, we had a stack of Mego Kiss dolls still on the box. And I'm, I'm like, it. get those out of the break room. <laughs> <laughs> get Mean Gene out. Pretty much. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're going to get back to the hunt of the stuff that you actually have for sale on the floor. Yeah. We're going to see what we could come up with. For yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you showing us yeah, all this, man. Sure. This is really cool. All right. And I'm going to try to find a way out of this video by just tilting the camera up. Thanks.